I am at the Modern Quilt Guild exhibit at Quilt Festival. During Quilt Market, they have the festival show floor open and all the quilts hung. And look at that, no crowds. So this is a great time to come and see the quilts. And I thought it would be great to show you the Modern Quilt exhibit. These were all accept, um, entered into the Modern Quilt Guild and accepted into Quilt Festival. And these will also be hanging at Quilt Con in Pasadena 2016, which is in February. So let's take a look at this. I will go around this way. This is by Hillary Goodwin, 523. I know I'm super excited about QuiltCon. Look at that awesome quilting on that. Here's the info. And here is the info on the next one, Embers, by Stephanie Rail. And that is gorgeous. And so this is like a plastic um, barrier to keep me from hugging the quilts. <laughs> That'll be your first time going to QuiltCon? That's awesome. Yeah, this next year it's going to be in Pasadena, and then the year after that it's going to be in Savannah, Georgia. Oh, look, some of these are metallic. You see those silver bits? That's really nice. Here is one by Alexis Deese. Kintsugi One Medallion. You were supposed to go to QuiltCon. Well, there's still time. You should come. I think this is the third year that Quilt Festival has had a modern quilt guild exhibit. Here's Life in the ER Quilt by Hilary Goodwin. Back up a little bit. I like the red binding on this. Oh, thank you. Yes, definitely come to QuiltCon Savannah. Okay, I'm turning the corner. Here is this cute pointy circle quilt. It's called Trimmings 2015, The Cog by Amy Gunson. Super cute, and I love that quilting. Um, I quilted a few quilts hanging at market, um, some for Cotton and Steel and some for um, Cloud Nine and Alice and Glass. Yeah, thanks for asking. <laughs> so these are the info sheets for the three quilts hanging here. This one is Pointed Statement by Amy Friend. Um, you know, the info sheets say if each one is machine pieced or quilted. So see it says technique and then an artist statement about the quilt. So yeah, each quilt is a little different as far as um, how it was made. But they generally like to give that info. This has a nice clean white binding. And look at the different color threads that are running through it. Yeah, there aren't a lot of prints. It's so modern, right? So a lot of modern quilting uses solid fabrics or fabrics that read as a solid. So see, I think it was like one of the first modern quilting books I bought was Denise Schmidt's um, book. I can't even remember the name of it. Um, but I think she said she liked to have like 90% solids with just a little bit of print sprinkled in. And that is kind of stuck. A lot of people like the timelessness of solid fabric. You don't know what year, you know, it's not a, it's not attached to a designer or a year, just the pretty color. And so look at that awesome quilting on that with this blue thread. It's nice and crinkly too. I think this um, user on Instagram is she can quilt. I think I recognize that one. All right, and I'm going inside now. Here is line study number one by Andrew Steinbecker. Steinbecker, excuse me. 
And look at all those stripes. Those aren't all pieced. Some of them are, are printed stripes, but it's still a lot of stripe piecing. So stripes on stripes. <laughs> Some nice grid quilting. And here is Balancing Act, Amanda Honstreiter. She is part of the Austin Modern Quilt Guild, actually, which is where I'm a member. So that's great to have Austin represent. And another matchstick quilting job. I believe this is a variation on a drunkard's path block that she has stacked so well. I just like this solid blue with the stitching. Um, oh gosh, you know, I can't remember her username right now, unfortunately. Someone might know, but I can't, I can't think of what it is right now. Oh wow, look at the quilting on this one. This one is Bullseye by Vicki Rubel. Oh, is that your quilt? That's awesome. I love the quilting on this. It is amazing. Did you mark that out? To quilt that fantastic job and this has a nice scrappy blue binding but yeah that's really fun I love to see the pattern in the negative space This one is Tidy Towns Irish Houses. Oh wait, that was, that was this one, right? Tidy Towns Irish Houses. And this must be, actually I'm not sure. See, there's three here. Modern Amish, Tidy Towns, and Bullseye. So this one must be Tidy Towns. Here is Modern Amish 2 with some striped half square triangles and look at that ghost one. I like the loose quilting on this one. <laughs> no, did you hear that announcement? <laughs> Attention! Here is DMMQG Twisted Sisters quilt from Denver, Colorado. Oh, absolutely, yeah, thanks for checking them out. I'm always excited to see the Modern Quilt Guild um, exhibit. Look at that little shiny piece in there. Those tiny flying geese in a circle. Kind of organic matchstick quilting on this one. How many quilts? Um, you know, I'd say there's about 25, but I don't know the exact number right now. I'm giving you the info sheets, so if you want to pause them and read them later in the replay, um, you can have that info. Here is Fruit Flavors by Mary Minzer. Uh, she's Fairly Mary on Instagram. And that's some awesome, awesome glass fabric with some awesome tiny matchstick quilting. This is Paper Cranes by Sylvia Schaefer. And the color is a little bit bright. Yeah, these are, these are not all from Houston MQG. These are from any MQG member, but they're displaying in Houston. So this is actually a navy background with, it looks like some hand dyed fabric for the cranes and some pebble quilting. Very cool. Here is this awesome hexy medallion one. I feel like I've seen this one before. Huckleberry by Rebecca Bryan. So cool. This would be an awesome like color wheel to hang on your wall to reference if you ever wanted to um, 
have a color wheel reference that was also impressive. This is amazing. So I'm gonna shadow out of there. You can see that kind of dimensional quilting, how there's those puffy parts left. Oh, it's in her book. Oh, is this the modern rainbow book? I think I, think I just made a, a connection in my brain. Here is Spare Change by Betsy Vinograd from Short Hills, New Jersey. Kind of reminds me of a DNA strand. Here is the info sheet on those. Ah, jinx. <laughs> Yay, she's in your guild. That's awesome. And see, it'll say the ones that are available for purchase, which is awesome. And people do come here to buy quilts. So keep that in mind and don't undervalue them. <laughs> it doesn't say the price here, so... I think the MQG will have a photographer come by and and get um, snapshots of all of them. Hopefully, that is so cool. This was uh, sorry, pineapple variation by Alexis Deese. This is at Houston International Quilt Festival. And they hang the quilts the week before. So festival actually starts next week, but they hang the quilts the week before during quilt market. So quilt market is way back there in those rooms. So everyone's over there. And this is a great time to come see the, the quilt festival show because as you can see, there's no crowds. And so next week, this is gonna be full of people. Some of the quilt con traveling and some are not. I don't know if any of these were in the traveling one from last QuiltCon, but I do know that these are going to be hanging in QuiltCon Pasadena in February. So this one is When Oceans Rise by Amanda Honestrider. Kind of a nice movement. Oh yeah, there's so many, so many fun fabrics in there. All the, all the new stuff. The quilt shops are in there ordering new fabric for their shops that will be delivered in the next few months. So this one is, yeah, Matchstick is all the rage. This one is Corsage by Stacy Day. It's kind of like the, um, the the Twisted Sister version of this one that was over here. Yeah, Market is great, although it is for a trade show only, so it's only for like quilt shops and businesses. But Quilt Festival is open to the public, and I definitely recommend checking that out, and the whole Market show floor is full of vendor booths. This is Wavelength by Rebecca Bryan gorgeous. I always love a rainbow and this one has fantastic quilting. This one is pixels by Ashley Nichols from San Francisco. Hopefully she'll be going to QuiltCon in Pasadena. So I wonder what her original image was or if it's, let me see, let me back up and see if it looks like something from far away. Is it a flower? Look at the uh, alternative pattern that's happening in the quilting. There's like some puffy ghost shapes there. 
You see a red stormtrooper. <laughs> okay, here's another wall. This is Rain by Krista Watson. And all the quilting lines go diagonal across the quilt. I like that a lot. And it looks like there's a few different color threads popped in there. So here's the info sheet on that one. And here's Random Perfection by Wanda Dotson. This is the modern hexy style, like modern handcraft does. She actually just did a Periscope tutorial on that and I've been itching to try it. Kind of, um, instead of sewing the hexies together, they're appliqued down. This one is Home by Jessica Skoltity from Phillipsburg, New Jersey. What's her handle for this one? Oh, the girl that did the, the hex tutorial. Uh, Modern Handcraft is the handle of the, she didn't make this quilt, but she does this method of hexies. So if you search the hashtag Modern Hexies on Instagram, you'll see a lot pop up. She had one hanging at QuiltCon Austin last year, or earlier this year, I should say. This one's a lot of Carolyn Friedlander fabric. With some great free motion quilting. Oh, and look at the Madrona Road binding. Here's Pudding by Amy Friend. West Newberry, Massachusetts. Machine pieced and quilted. I love the off-center placement of that. It's got some sparkle fabric in there with a little metallic sheen. Yeah, these are great colors. Very bright. And I like this pixely bottom. I'm trying to stay still, so I hope you can kind of see these. Here's these info sheets. This one right here is Diamonds in the Rough by Tina Guzman. This one is another one I think I've seen in Instagram land before. It's all that awesome Alice in Glass fabric. And these center pieces here are unquilted. It leaves a nice puppy, puppy shape in the middle there. Okay, I'm going to turn this corner now, and there you can see some of the other quilts. There's a million quilts in this room. So right now I'm just showing you the modern quilt part. This one is a big one, and it's called Big Love by Sherry Cifaldi Morell from Woodbridge, Connecticut. And let me back up to show you this better. It is really big. And it's lots of little piece strips. And quilted in straight lines. I love this one a lot. Um, oh, let's see, it says frequency words or frequency waves for the word love. So it is like a sound wave. That's so cool. Here is the info sheet for Comma Comet by Pam Biswas and Janet Gannon from Katy, Texas. Some wonky stars on a gray background with lots of free motion swirls.
me back up to show you the whole spread of stars there. It's a really nice composition. Oh look, there's a little star quilted in there. Some ghost stars. Okay, I'm gonna go around this wall. And these are all the ones that you've already seen. So that is the Modern Quilt Guild exhibit. Short but sweet, love to represent modern quilting. And so a lot of people are gonna come in here next week and this may be the first time that they've ever seen modern quilts. So, you know, it's always surprising to some people to say, oh, you don't have to make a quilt with the traditional blocks in the traditional setting. Yeah, thanks for checking it out. I definitely encourage you to come to Quilt Festival in Houston if you wanna see more of these and more of the other quilts. I did post on my Twitter a picture of the map that shows all the categories because all of these are kind of grouped by categories. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much, guys. And I will be posting some pictures and maybe doing a couple scopes inside the show floor later today. Bye, y'all.